So our goal in this video is to take the antiderivative of this fairly crazy looking expression. Or another way of saying it is to find the indefinite integral of this crazy looking expression. And the key realization right over here is that you, this expression is made up of a bunch of terms. And the indefinite integral of the entire expression is going to be equal to the indefinite integral of each of the terms. So this is going to be equal to we could look at this term right over here and just take the indefinite take the indefinite integral of that 7x to the third dx and then from that we can subtract the indefinite integral of this thing so we could say this is and then minus the indefinite integral of 5 times the square root of x dx and then we can look at this one right over here so then we could say plus the indefinite integral of 18 square root of x, square roots of x over x to the third dx. And then finally, and I'm running out of colors here, finally, I need more colors in my thing, we can take the antiderivative of this. So plus the antiderivative of x to the negative 40th power dx. So I've just rewritten this in color coded things. So let's take the antiderivative of each of these and you'll see that we'll be able to do it using our whatever we want to call it, the inverse of the power rule or the anti power rule whatever you might want to call it. So let's look at the first one. So we have we have what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the antiderivative without the constant just add the constant at the end for the sake of this one just so we make sure we get the most general antiderivative. So here the exponent is a 3, so we can increase it by 1. So it's going to be x to the fourth. It's, let me do that same purple color, or that pink color. It's going to be x to the fourth, and we're going to divide by x to the fourth. So it's x to the fourth over 4 is the antiderivative of x to the third. And you just had this scaling quantity, the 7 out front, so we can still just have the 7 out front. So we get 7 x to the fourth over 4. Fair enough. From that, we're going to subtract the antiderivative of this. Now at first this might not be obvious that this you could use our inverse power rule or anti power rule here but then you just need to realize that 5 times the principal root of x is the same thing as so this is the same thing as 5 times x to the 1 half power and so once again the exponent here is 1 half we can increment it by 1 so it's going to be x to the 3 halves and then divide by the incremented exponent. So divide by 3 halves. And of course, we had this 5 out front, so we still want to have the 5 out front. Now this next expression looks even wackier, but once again, we can simplify a little bit. This is the same thing. Let me do it right over here. This is the same thing as 18 times x to the 1 half times x to the negative 3 power x to the third in the denominator is the same thing as x to the negative 3. We have the same base. We can just add the exponent. So this is going to be equal to 18 times x to the 2 and a half power, 2 and a half power, or another way of thinking about it. This is the same thing as 18 times x, 18 times x to the 5 halves power. To the 5 halves power. Did I do that right? Yeah, negative 3. Oh, sorry, this is negative 2 and a half. Let me make this very clear. And this is going to be the negative 5 halves power. x to the negative 3 is the same thing as x to the negative 6 halves. Negative 6 halves plus 1 half is negative 5 halves. So once again, we just have to increment this exponent. So negative 5 halves plus 1 is going to be negative 3 halves. So you're going to have x, x to the negative 3 halves. And then you divide by what your exponent is when you increment it. So divide it by negative, divide it by negative three halves, and then you had the 18 out front. And we obviously are going to have to simplify this. And then finally, our exponent in this term, let me not use that purple anymore. Uh, the exponent in this term right over here is negative 40. If we increment it, we get x to the negative 39 power. All of that over negative 39. And now we can add our constant. Now we can add our constant c. And all we need to do is simplify all of this craziness. So the first one is fairly simplified. We can write it as 7 fourths x to the fourth. Now this term right over here is essentially negative 5 divided by 3 halves. 
So five over three halves is equal to five times two thirds, which is equal to 10 over three. So this thing right over here simplifies to negative 10 over three x to the three halves. And then we have all of this craziness. Now 18 divided by negative three halves, 18 divided by negative three halves is equal to 18 times negative two thirds, which is equal to, well we can, we can simplify this a little bit. This is the same thing as six, this is the same thing as six times negative two, which is equal to negative 12. So this expression right over here is negative 12 x to the negative three halves. And then finally, this one right over here, we can just rewrite it as, if we want, we could, well, we could just write negative 1 39th x to the negative 39th plus plus c. And we're done. We found the indefinite integral of all of this craziness. And I encourage you to take the derivative of this, and you can do it using really just the power rule, to take the derivative of this and verify that it does indeed equal this expression that we took that we took the antiderivative of.